Hi, my name is Arul Salvakumar, and I'm in seventh grade, and I won first place in the middle school science fair. My project title was, What is the effect of probiotics in the gut microbiome in improving urological disorders? Now, I, I can see that it would sound like a humbo jumbo to you, but let me break it down. Probiotics are nutritional drinks or flu foods that can help you in that they give more bacteria to your body. Did you know that in our body, there are more, there are more bacterial cells than regular cells um, in our body? And when I, when I found out that a lot of these bacterial cells are in our gut microbiome or our stomach, I decided to research a lot more on that. And I found out that probiotics can help the gut microbiome in a large way. But then I wondered, could the bacteria in the gut microbiome do anything to help your brain? Because a lot of the times we hear about diseases, we think of neurological disorders. And so that, that was my project broken down for you. And there are two main types of bacteria in the gut microbiome and throughout our body, and that is Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus. These, both of these bacteria are also present in the probiotics that I had tested. And so I had three different tests for my um, experiment. And so the first step was to make yogurt, which is a probiotic, but I made it homemade so that I would make one probiotic that was made by me and not by a store. And then I had my next step, which was titration, which basically determines how much acid is in a certain amount of bacteria. And in this um, amount of bacteria, the acid determines, well, how much, uh, w what the intensity of the bacteria is and how much bacteria is in a certain sample. And finally, I viewed the different probiotics under a microscope, as you can see here. The data from my experiment was that flavored kefir, a plain energy drink, which you can drink whatever you want to, had the most amount of bacteria. And also, when I read the label, it said that it had not only Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus dermophilus, but many other types of bacteria, like Lactobacillus casei and Lactobacillus acidophilus. And also, fla flavored kefir was placed first, but also plain kefir placed second, right be behind flavored kefir. From there, I could conclude that flavored kefir was more beneficial than any of the items that I tested, and whole milk turned out to be the best type of yo homemade yogurt that I had made, because I had made my yogurts with four different types of milk. Whole milk, 2% milk, 1% milk, and skim milk, each with 500 milliliters. And I also found three different ways to conclude in my graphs and I found the average lactic acid concentration, which was the acid I tested in titration. Then I found the pH, which mattered a lot because the lower the pH I found, the higher the lactic acid concentration in the probiotic samples and the higher the number of bacteria. And finally, I found the bacterial distribution in probiotic samples, which was based off of my microscope tests. And again, I could conclude that the gut microbiome can help the neurological disorders because it can send neurotransmitters up to the brain and those neurotransmitters will help the brain and the more neurotransmitters there is, or in other words, the more pr probiotics that you eat, for example, flavored kefir or whole milk, the better your body will be.